Hello everyone, welcome to the Sam Lifecast. It's uh, the last day of leftover steak week. What a week it's been. I have uh, something to admit. Oh God. It's actually not leftover steak. I, I ate it all. So I cooked this this morning. What, what did you make? Just this little, little thin ribeye thing. Nice. And see, do you see the thickness of this? I put my finger there for scale or something? Mm-hmm. I don't like ribeyes this thin. I like them thicker. For our purposes today, it's fine. But for what we would normally cook here as a steak, I like twice that. I know there's just something about a thick steak that makes me happy. So we're making a little crostini. There will be one, two, three, four main ingredients, then oil, salt, that's pepper, that's it. Simple. Um, so I've got a little, it's just a basic, like a sandwich roll, hoagie, hoagie, hoagie. Is that Midwest? Hoagie. Yeah. Uh, roll. So all I want to do is cut these things into these. What, what is this? Diagonal. French bread is traditional for a Christine, right? Um. Probably. I don't really know. I mean, I normally buy like the sourdough baguette. Yep. But because I try not to have too much bread in the house, because if it's here, I'm going to eat it, mm -hmm. uh, I bought something small. I didn't need the whole giant loaf here because I just get in it and. Nothing's like 50 cents at the store. It'd be trouble. It's exactly what it is. I think it was 55 cents or something. So we're going to do it right here on the flat top. Um, so just a little bit of olive oil on, on these. Have you seen where they start, they've start? they started to put fresh baked French bread rolls at the front? Yeah. As you check out? It's so hard to pass those. Especially when, that, when it's like warm and you can smell oh, them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Smart. So a little olive oil will help with the color. And a little bit of flavor and whatever. So these guys are going to go here. That will happen quickly. This is not something that you can really go away from. Because if you leave that, life's going to be over and the shit will be burnt and then you're going to be stuck with nothing. Unless you've got a backup one. And how often do you plan for a backup? How often do you plan your food for a mistake? Yeah. Nobody does that. Okay, so the tomato. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. Well, this knife. So sharp. I just sharpened it. It's like that. Uh, it's like that guy on those infomercials. Yeah. Right? You can tell because the tomato doesn't squoosh at all. Yeah, and you can absolutely use a serrated knife. Here, watch. Okay, not quite. We're going fine. Oh, that light's not on. That's better. Okay, so tomato's cut. So let's cut this little, little steak. We'll just cut around this fat. Thin like we've been doing all week. Thin like we've been doing all week. Those thin pieces of filet from Wednesday just melt in your mouth. They were crazy, right? Oh yeah. There's much more tolerance in a fat filet for getting it to look. It's starting, that's too much for me. I don't like it. Too much fat? Too, no, too much, too cooked. Oh. Oh God, we're almost there. We'll give this like one more minute. So I've got the filet cut. Let me see if I can get a few more bite pieces out of this guy. Yeah, see that's how I like it. But 
That'll make me happy now. Now I'm happy. Okay, get rid of this, get rid of that. That's fine. Okay, these guys, I can probably flip now. Oh, oh, God, it's really hot. Shite. And the other main component is this uh, goat cheese. I bought one with uh, garlic and herb already in it. Which makes it one step instead of now starting to add stuff to it. You don't need to add anything. Little spoon. Let me get a little plate. Uh, some extra virgin olive oil. Uh, on the bread, I put regular olive oil for a little moisture, but really for color. These guys are good. What I want now to drizzle on top is olive oil that has a little bit of flavor to it. So that's when shit, you would use the extra virgin olive oil. All right. Watch how easy. There's no goat cheese. So easy. What a perfect little appy. It's a great appy. Really great. Cook steak on Saturday night and then use the leftover to make this for Sunday football. Exactly. Your future in-laws are in town, Max. Yes, Will you be are. cooking for them? Um, I don't know actually, I may be. Have you not thought this through? Well, we well, usually the, like to go out for meals and... You like to have them take you out for meals. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say no to that. No, I wouldn't. All right. And by the way, in the interest of using up extra things that you've got, don't look at this like, oh my God, so now I've got like two ounces of soft goat cheese, what the hell am I gonna do with it? What you're gonna do with it is you're gonna mix it in with some scrambled eggs for Sunday morning yeah. breakfast. That's the thing to do. So now let's put just a little tomato on these guys. Doesn't have to be perfect. Hopefully I don't melt before this show's done. God, it is hot, man. We can't put the AC on in the house when the laundry machine is on, so. <laughs> the laundry machine. <laughs> also known as a washer. Dry, it's the dryer, dryer actually that oh, uses okay. the. Hold on, I need one more little piece. Right now, steak. And you don't need the whole thing covered. It's not like you're covering a pizza with cheese. I mean, you do want some, like, for sure you want to be able to get a, b a bite of the steak. Uh, in each one of these. But you don't need to bury it. You don't need to bury the tomato and the goat cheese. piece here, more piece here, this up there. Okay, here you go, ready? Extra virgin olive oil drips. Now, a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Because even though the steak has been seasoned, it will need more at this point, but not a lot. Yeah, be careful, you can always add more. There's nothing worse than when you ruin a dish that you just made with too much salt or something. Oh my god. Mm. 
Look how perfect this works out. That's a freaking appy. That's a really nice appy, right? And now I've got one for me. Hello? Now I've got one for me. Hello? Hey, do you not want me to get this beautiful shot? Yeah, Jeez. but not for an hour. <laughs> Little toasted baguette, uh, hoagie roll, whatever you've got. The goat cheese is going to be the magical part of this. Little fresh tomato and... Mm. Wow. Mm. I had 16 people here last night. I should have made that. It doesn't take any time. And it's all about the leftover steak. All about the steak. About the steak. Mmm. All right. That wraps up this week. Next week. Mmm. I don't know yet, but it'll be good. I'm thinking fish sauce week. Is that too weird? No. It's not? Sounds awesome. All right, maybe we'll think about it. Thanks for hanging out. Don't eat shitty food. And don't make the same thing all the time. See ya.